everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs, and I just have some exciting news for you today. I don't know if you've seen the update to the Silhouette um, software, but they now do PNGs and they open them up just like a print and cut. So this is great if you don't have the design edition and you want to do a print and cut with a PNG file. And in just a minute, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let me tell you, this is life changing. I love using sentiments um, and printable sentiments and printable pictures with my SVG files. It's so much easier than the hand stamping and it's just, it's wonderful. But before I show you how to do that, I want to share with you a couple of files that I have that this will work great with. So the first one is this hinge box. This is the hinge box with label and it comes with three, three labels. It has the hugs, kisses, and birthday wishes. It has good times, good friends, good treats, great little box for Halloween or Christmas, summer, whatever. And then this printable one that says be happy. This goes with all the little uh, BSVG files you've seen lately that we've come out with. And then there's another file. This is the ticket mini album book. So you pull it out and it's a ticket uh, mini album. I'm not going to show that because I've already done a video with this. But it also comes with three printable sentiments. It's that let the adventures begin. So a Disney trip or a birthday trip, retirement party, little mini album, so many uses for that. Um, let your dreams blossom, little mini album. That would be so perfect. And then the last one is you make my heart smile. Now the really cool thing about these is they are interchangeable. So I'm going to take this You Make My Heart Smile and take the hinge box of labels and it will actually fit right on there. They're interchangeable. So there's so much you can do. Right, so once you open up Silhouette Studio, you're ready to go. I am actually using the basic edition to show you that this works great for any edition. Um, basic designer or anything. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to file and open or you can just open your folder here and you're going to navigate to wherever it was that you saved your um, your images, your files. So right here I'm in the hinge box with label and I'm going to open up my PNG file. So I'm going to double click to open it and then there are all the PNGs that come with this file. And you can just go ahead and click on whichever one you want. We're going to do the be happy and click OK. And it comes in and it is all ready for the print and cut. You used to have to trace it and everything and now it's all ready to go. So to set up my machine to print this, I'm going to come over here to where it says media size. I'm going to hit the drop down and I'm going to choose my letter as the size because my printer is a, a letter size printer. Then we'll come over here to this third tab. It's your registration tip marks and it looks like it has the little corners in the or the little print marks in the corner. So we're going to open up that tab and click on on. And now what you'll get is your hash marks and your printer registration marks and your red line. And I've said this before, but I'll say it again. It's not going to print your red line or your hash marks. It's only going to print those little corners. So if I wanted to do a second one, I can now come to file. And if I hit merge, it will actually open the next file right on this page. So we're just going to skip right over here and go to good times, good friends, good treats. Click on it. Click OK. There is that sentiment. And then if I wanted to add one more, but let's say I wanted to add it from the ticket booth, I'm going to go to File and Merge. This is going to take me just a second because now I'm going to have to go find where that file is. And you'll see how crazy all of my files are because I have so many of them the mini albums and it's the ticket books and box and I want the print or the PNG there and let's go with the let your dreams blossom this time go ahead and click on that 
and it opens it up, it always is going to put it in that left hand corner. And of course, you want to move it there. And now it is all ready to go. Another update that they have with this is if I come up here to my little printer icon, center printer, and I click on it. Now it's going to give me a print preview. They did Silhouette didn't have this before, but now it has it, and I absolutely love it. So it's going to take it a minute, and I'm getting all kinds of funky screens, but now I have this print preview, and this is exactly what it's going to look like when it comes out of my printer. It's going to have the black square and the two corner marks. It's going to have the sentiments. The red lines are not there which sometimes every once in a while when you do a print and cut, it prints that red line. On this one, there's no red line to print. And then I would just go ahead and hit print. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't need it. Then I can close that up. And then when I go to sand, once again, I'm going to lay this sheet right on my mat exactly like it shows. And there are all of my red cut lines. So I'll just hit send. I'm not hooked up yet, but I would just hit send and it would cut that right around each one of those red cut marks. And I'm going to get that printed sentiment all ready to go for my mini album or my hinge box with label or whatever other files you want to do. This is a wonderful update from Silhouette. I'm so excited for it. I hope you'll take advantage and use it a lot. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure and hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss a single video.